Okay, this is to follow up my blog post on installing a front takedown pin. Uh, I'm going to do it with a tool to make it much easier. Tools easy to buy at the hardware store. It's a clevis pin. Basically just a pin with holes in it. This one's a quarter inch. That's the same diameter as the takedown pins. So as you can see, it's a nice easy fit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this last hole with the recess in there for the spring. Take the spring, put the spring in, and then you're going to follow it with the detent, set the detent in. Now, this is where it's nice and convenient to use this method instead of the typical push it in with a pin and or with a punch and hope you don't lose it. Okay, in this case I'm going to use a number three punch. Press it in until it's clear of the clevis pin. I'm sorry, carriage pin. And I'm going to rotate it. So as you can see now it's holding itself in. The holes are up and down so there's no chance of that slipping out. Now you can basically leave it like this as long as you need to. Next get your takedown pin ready. And this is the one place where you can lose control but it's pretty easy to control. I'm going to push this to just to the edge and you're always going to need your takedown pin to come in from this side. As you're looking at the rifle, if you were holding it, it would be the right side. It's the side of this little bump where your spring and detent go. So you're going to line them up with each other. And I like to brace it with my fingers. And then you're just going to push it through. You should feel it click in place. You can remove the carriage bolt now. And as you can tell, the takedown pin is in place and it's captured. That's probably the easiest way I've found. Brownells does sell a tool that's very similar to this. It's quite a bit more expensive. You can get these from the hardware store for less than a dollar. You even get a couple extras to have as spares. So far that's the easiest way I've found to attach that. And it can actually even go faster than the video shows when you're not trying to keep the camera view from being obstructed. And there you go. Next we'll show you how to remove it if you ever want to take out the pin. And now for disassembly. It's not real often that you're going to need to disassemble and remove the takedown pin, but every once in a while you might want to if you're going to strip the lower for painting or if you need to scent it off for a engraving for your short barreled rifle stamp. So I'm going to show you real quick how to remove it real easy and quick without actually losing a spring or the detent. Uh, my 1 16th pin is a little too narrow to fit in the hole to remove the to push back the detent so I'm going to be using a staple bent out straight nice and easy you just push it through all the way and then you rotate it as you can see the hole is actually facing up now so the pins not actually being retained what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a, a shop cloth that I have for cleaning the guns hold it over pull the pin out and you can see the detent came out one nice easy piece nice and clean so remove that pull out the spring sometimes it sticks a little bit you can take your punch and remove it and that's it takedown pin is out